Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it is that time once again. Roughly one year ago, the Winter Nights Lazo trailer dropped for Genshin Impact and like changed the landscape of the community before Sumeru's release. I have not seen anything. I literally, so my aunt, my, me and my girlfriend just celebrated our four year anniversary. At the stroke of midnight was the end of our anniversary day and she went to bed. 12.01 a.m. I kid you not. I was getting notifications up the ass of people like Arnold, code black, code red. Watch this trailer. Hoyoverse is going in. And I figured it wasn't like a character trailer because we weren't getting new characters this patch. And so all I can assume going into this is that it is something to the extent of the Winter Nights Lazo trailer. We are live at my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash murder of birds. It is one o'clock in the morning and there's 1200 people in here. Absolutely insane. So if you guys are new here, I'd really appreciate if you guys could subscribe to the YouTube channel follow me over on twitch big genshin fan i've been playing since day one i'm excited for fontaine i'm excited for 3.8 and everything else in between but yeah we are going to be watching the trailer initially running it back and, and analyzing it and just seeing what the fuck they give i don't know if it's going to be the harbingers again i don't know if it's going to be fontaine if it's going to be celestia what the hell is they're going to give us and i'm starting to get a little nervous shout out to my mod david who gave me the link over to teaser the final feast in three two one now oh there's water oh fontaine of course my mission all right that was loud my mission oh who is this new character okay water fontaine you love to see it oh who is this that's a new character that's not aether the original sin is the fairest everyone <laughs> Make the most of the final feast. Holy shit, animation looks the good. Sinners, the curtain call. Uh, the sinners. This is some abyss nonsense. Oh, animation's beautiful. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen. Why they love it? I'm Please pulling for them. Leaving, my friends. This has been Linny and Lynette. Oh, Linny and Lynette. Okay, I've been saying Line A the whole, <laughs> the whole for like three years. The essence of magic is getting people. Oh, they look great. The oh, I love this that. People see. Oh, a bunch of jokers. Oh, new character. People don't realize how. Oh, much I love this. Eyes to tell them the truth. Good music, Charlotte. Yo, we Fontaine boys. <laughs> but what you see is not real. <laughs> got Mary Poppins the way. Oh! Who is that? Dude, that looks like Sampo. Why does it look like Sampo Koski? Oh my god! He's so cute. the right place. What is this? And the Yo, it's like a freaking it's like the theater life. Whoever controls these three controls Who are all these people? Okay, Hoyo. And you might be able to turn things to your advantage. Oh my god, they have guns? Finally, they have guns in Genshin? Oh my god. This in looks so nutshell, fantastic. Magic is what you see with your own two eyes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so this looks like... Uh, she... Very fun. Arlecchino and Fontaine! <laughs> Let me make something clear. You think of yourself <laughs> as magicians, but when you're on oh. stage, you're first and foremost actors. Good actors hone oh their my God. to mesmerize the whole crowd. Please let her be playable. Please don't kill her like Senora. Please make her playable. Oh my god, she looks amazing. <laughs> Holy shit. Hold on, we're not done yet. What is happening? <laughs> okay. Boring! I mean... Oh, is this the Hydro Archon? When are we going to finally <laughs> see a real twist? Is that the Hydro Archon? This one right here? Please refrain from levity in the court. This trial is fun. Oh, the courthouse. The scale? Yep. Holy shit. <laughs> ah, 
Bro, they dropped, I think they dropped like every character that's coming in throughout 4.0 series. Holy shit, he has a great voice. This trial is far from over. Why does his voice sound familiar? Please refrain from levity in the court. He sounds so familiar. I think he voices, does he voice someone in Kingdom Hearts? Oh, the master of masters. Yeah, that's what he sounds like. Yeah, that's definitely a Kingdom Hearts thing. Wow, okay, hold on. Let me let me peep the uh, description real quick. Enjoy a magical performance for which none shall applaud. Yeah, that freaking, that whole courthouse was empty. The actors have taken the stage the audience has taken their seats let us enjoy it all right until the final curtain call bro holy shit okay so they have names of everybody okay Ferminette, igaria Lene, linette navia charlotte rio thesley is that how you say that sinjwine clorinde the knave arlecchino farina and nouvellette so nouvellette is the last person that we just saw right there so farina would be the the the, the hydro archon holy shit okay i can't be the only one i can't be the only one that thought that this looks like sam pokoski dude he looks so cool is he actually blind hold on and every part of the show is carefully controlled <laughs> wait he might be he's he's feeling for the cup right there yeah it looks like he's reading the paper right there though oh yeah well the paper also has nothing on it from what we can see though right i don't know if this is just a part of the play the stage performance right but he looked like he was feeling around for the cup that would be kind of interesting guys if i get evicted tomorrow because i was screaming at the top of my lungs it's been a pleasure to serve all of you oh sevens in chat i regret nothing i will go down with this ship i did it for the content all right i did it for content i did it for you i did it for the genshin community and if anything it will be the first time i've ever gotten a noise complaint since i've been doing youtube believe it or not holy shit arlecchino i'm sorry arlecchino yeah she's like these little kids i'll show you what for also does she hold on let me let me peep real quick let me is that it right there oh she's pyro then that looks like a pyro vision right there on her neck on like the nape of her neck right there okay so are they gonna do pyro high are they gonna are they i mean they might switch it up they might go pyro high for her because senora was pyro cryo but obviously she didn't have a vision but like i feel like water and fire can be equally opposite as fire and ice so it could be either way okay we're gonna run this back real quick we got uh i got the first nice taste and now we're just kind of we're gonna ride it we're gonna be coasting now and uh just so i can actually pick up anything that i may have missed out the first run my mission okay so i i recently just did the kavarna of good and evil quests and during that quest line there are like um there are like papers and reports that talk about like the energy sources of the kavarna energy and it seems like the institute of fontaine was sent out to research kavarna energy from what the paper displayed it mentioned that like there could be synthetic individuals like synthetic humans or like androids or something like that that are in fontaine so i'm wondering if this is one of them the reason i say that is because you see these like energy grids it looks like kind of like energy grids on his uh on his bodysuit there so i'm like are you a are you a person you're giving me albedo vibes too by the way i i forgot the name they gave they, the, the person had a name i think it was was it jacob i think the name was jacob maybe i don't remember how's her hair not wet i don't i have no clue Ooh, i like that it kind of looks like a demon cat like insignia it's got like the cat ears and then like the the sharp teeth linny linny and lynette i have to i'm gonna have to get used to saying linny because i've been calling this character line a since the preview trailer back when genshin first came out this place looks great is she geo are they really gonna drop a is this the first Geo character we're seeing since Ito and Goro? I only say that because she's dripped out in yellow and Hoyoverse has a track record of doing like, you know, the color-coded characters. This guy looks so sick. Oh my God, is this like a wolf man? Hold on. He's got like a wolf crest on his chest. He's got one on his uh, on his glove there, right? One's red, one is white. Oh my God, that's true. These two are giving me Sampo Koski and Bailu vibes from Star Rail. So I guess Arlecchino is controlling like the stage, right? This entire Fontaine act seems like it's it's gonna be a massive right play, play where every person has their role to play parts to play and things to do things right to say team. so uh everyone could just be putting up a front this guy looks pretty cool i don't know who this is she looks fantastic for more reasons than one and she uses a gun finally i really hope that that's like probably not gonna be a weapon type it's probably gonna be like she's a catalyst user but she uses gun or even like kirara who's a sword user 
but the animation will be like a gun. So aesthetically, she'll play and fight differently than most people, but I'm pretty sure they're not going to add more than the five weapon types, unfortunately. Also, it's a little odd nice. that like Linny has all the expressions and Lynette is just like stonewalled, no emotions, no expressions whatsoever. They're like the complete opposite. They're performers though. I love it. I love the teardrop. I love the star. Very theatrical. They give me big like Jin vibes from like League or even like Hisoka from Hunter Hunter. Just aesthetically. Arla fucking Chino. Arla Kino. I gotta get used to saying Arla Kino now. I feel like this is like a little tease of like what her theme might be. Yeah, look at her. She's like, these are all puppets. I'm the real, I'm the real stage director here from uh, Snezhnaya. She's gotta be like some like demon type of character, right? Like the freaking red crossed eyes. That shit is otherworldly, bro. Actually like, oh, she can't be human. I know the first three ranked are like God status. Capitano, Dottore, and Columbina. And then uh, Arlecchino, Arlecchino picking up the rear. I feel like nice everybody nice. is already going to be compromised here because of her. It just seems like from the passage to like from the entire dialogue sequence that was being had. And like, again, on her back of her neck there, you can see like a red thing. I assume that's her pyro vision. So she might be pyro and she's like, she's got the red and white. I want to say pyro ice, but like that would be the same thing as Senora. So maybe they'll switch it up and do something else. God, her design looks so freaking good. Like just seeing her like more expressed than the Winter Nights Lazo trailer is so dope. I cannot, dude, next year we're getting Capitano. Capitano's in Natlin right now. So I, that's who, that's my favorite Harbinger. I cannot wait until Capitano comes to the game. I want him to be playable so fucking badly. I'll take Arle Arlequino dying if it means Capitano. I'll take Arlequino walking so capitano can run that's my most anticipated harbinger if not playable it'll be unfortunate but like what, what is it is child the only playable harbinger right now i feel like we're very overdue for another one i know dotori kind of finessed us in, in sumeru and like made off like a bandit and so he'll probably come back into the fold and potentially be playable in the future i think it's definitely time we get another another harbinger who's scaramouche who's balladeer who's kabuki mona what are you guys talking about ah yes hat guy there you go that's a name i can get behind that's it that's a character I support. Good old hat guy. And then it's not over. She just fucking took the picture and cut. Also, a fire singed picture. That actually might confirm that she's Pyro, potentially. Because I'm pretty sure the Hydro Archon isn't Pyro. Oh my God. She literally scorched the fuck out of that thing. Arlecchino comes to the theater slash the courthouse, is not impressed by the performance, and was like, do it over again just fucking burns the evidence and and leaves so i'm pretty sure she's pyro i'm pretty sure that confirms it oh my god and this is the new pyro this is the new hydro archon from the previous one that we now know died at uh tunagi hollow holy shit and all of the lock folk left all the lock folk left freaking fontaine because of this girl so i'm like i have no idea how she runs her ship i don't know what the hell she's all about to where the freaking beings of this nation were like all right we're gonna head out we don't we don't fuck with you. Get out of here. Leave us alone. And like the whole energy crisis of this place. And you know, there's like a class system. There's like a, like a oppression with the classes and whatnot. It's going to be another rigmarole for the traveler to solve. We got to solve freaking class. We got to solve classism. We got to fight for the common man. Please refrain from levity in the court. All right. Mr. Hard ass over here. He's far from over. So that must be the judge, jury, and executioner of the courts. Nouvellette. Actually, no, he's the chief justice, right? I think he's the chief justice. So pretty much, yeah, he, he's he got that big dick energy everywhere. Why do his eyes look like that? <laughs> Is this man, is this man big sus? This man a pure blood Conrian? His design looks great too, actually. I love the color scheme he's got going on. So what, what's her name for Farina or something like that? Hold on, let me double check these names real quick. Yeah, so Farina, she's gonna embody the hydro element as a whole, right? So Zingcho, Kokomi, you look at all the other elements, they're kind of like at the, they're like the master class of their element. I wonder what she's gonna be able to do because like, she's just like, yeah, I heal you for a thousand in HP per second or something like that. I don't know. I feel like it would have to be more DPS oriented. Not really DPS oriented, but I'm pretty sure that's what most people are going to want out of her. Especially when you see someone like Zing Cho and Yelan who are considered like the best hydro unit in the game with the exception of like Kokomi who's like the healing unit. But yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm super interested to see what she does because I'm getting the Archons. I'm getting the Archons. I'm getting the Harbingers. And at the very least, I'm going to get Linny and Lynette. But it's going to be, uh, I'm not going to get all these other characters. I already announced that I'm no longer like wailing in the game. So like, it's just, 
it's gonna be like i don't really know what's gonna be my judgment factor for like what characters i want it's probably really gonna be decided at the live stream special programs to be honest but um these two were in the preview trailer so i'm super hyped for them Arlecchino could be potentially playable, which is huge. And I, I don't want to miss out on a on a Harbinger. And then obviously the Archons. I want to get all seven of them. I'm already four for seven. I really hope Celestia doesn't nuke this place by the end of the Archon quest. Their technology is dangerously close to Conria's as well. And uh, apparently Celestia is right above them. So... You know, if shit's going down, it has to happen here, right? But yeah, Harbingers are making moves. That means next year we could potentially get a Copitano teaser. I'm coping right now, but I, I want it to happen so badly. I really want a Copitano. I want a Copitano trailer next year so bad. You know, the funny thing is too, it's called the final curtain call. And that to me just tells me that someone's gonna die. Like they're going to like, it's like death and then the curtains just fall. It's not gonna be a good performance. You're not gonna get standing ovations and roses thrown at the actors. I. I don't know man like it's it's already starting out like pretty ominous right out the right out the gate and um you know the the the, the city itself the society itself of like this i guess the the nation of fontaine is already kind of like there's already a lot of like scrutiny going on with the the justice system or like the lack thereof justice system the energy crisis how they heavily rely on the institution to kind of solve all of the problems of the nation which is like also not the most reliable you got people living in the fucking sewers and shit so um i don't know what the main factor is gonna be for this archon because we don't know their relationship to previous hydro archon all we know from doing the kavarna of good and evil quest is that the previous hydro archon left to go to conria to fight the the abyss and they didn't even make it to conria they died before they got there they died at tunigi hollow and that's and and like ruka devada ended up binding her to the to the tree there and like maintaining her existence in the mortal realm i don't that's as far as I got. I don't know how it ends. I still have to finish that quest, but that's as far as I got for like the lore that I understand. She also seems relatively bored. Like I, I don't mean to bring up Honkai Star Rail, but I'm just like, are you a masked fool? You know, like those motherfuckers are out there like, hey, I want things to just, I want to just, I'm, I'm here for a good time, not a, not a long time. You know what I mean? So she's like, oh man, why do I even bother? You know, I want a twist for once. This is boring. So um, very interested overall to just see how she fares as an Archon, like how, how she feels about her nation how she feels about her people it's gonna be kind of like that experience all over again learning about a learning about nahida and ruka devada and makoto uh was super cool because you know zhongli and venti are the ogs but these characters took on the responsibility they inherited all the burdens and you know all none of them are perfect essentially so i just really want to see what her flaws are like why the lock folk decided to leave based on how she runs things here super super fascinating to um to just get into all of this and it's very theatrical very dramatic very dramatized i would say right you have like the performances you got the music you have the stages you have everyone like dressed up really like proper um elegance if you will and so yeah i'm just really interested to see where it all goes from here i agree with that one person in chat earlier that was like yo can we just skip 3.8 please but it's like this is so exciting because this is what comes next you know i i appreciate a low patch right i appreciate like a minor patch i'm gonna be in canada during 3.8 anyway so for me at least it's it's a good way for me to kind of focus on irl stuff and not hyper focus on like lore and like our conquest and all that like like massive stuff but between them showcasing like Fontaine gameplay in the last live stream special program and now them dropping this, it really does feel like most people are going to overlook 3.8. I'm still going to focus on like the, the event quest for the most part, but I'm so, 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 so stoked. And they're doing a good job at, uh, at, at building up hype and anticipation for this new region. So, you know, at the very least, I'm excited about that. 3.8 is definitely going to be like a big saving patch. But yeah, what did you guys think about the trailer? What was your, what was y'all's favorite part? That real twist is going to come at the end end of the fontaine our conquest ladies and gentlemen someone's dying celestia is dropping a nail uh someone's gonna get arrested and like charged for murder or some um, or some nonsense or this archon i wonder what's gonna happen to this archon like we know their gnosis is gonna get yoinked but like are they gonna fight for it like every gnosis that's been taken has been taken with the exception of venti has been taken with almost like non uh, well actually never mind skyramush yoinked the gnosis through like on threats of physical force but like everybody else's has been kind of like like zhongli negotiated nahida negotiated venti got like got snuffed for his 
Uh, we almost died for 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 balls. I'm sorry for for Beelzebul, so we had to give that one up. Like Yai uh, Yai gave that one up. So I wonder how the Gnosis is actually gonna get taken if it's not already gone. You know, that could be a big twist as well. She's like, yeah, I don't use that anymore, or whatever the case might be. If she even has it on her person, because that'll be a twist in of itself how they get it. Venti didn't resist on purpose. Yeah, I know. I I've already I've long since said that, but it doesn't mean that he didn't get snuffed. Yeah, Nahida negotiated too. So uh, Zhang Li kind of did too. We just don't know the the details because NDAs are a pain in the ass. I'm also interested to know who's running the freaking orphanage back at Snejnaya if Arlequino is here because she runs the House of Hearth, right? She's kind of like, she is the uh, the House of Heart. Like she watches the children. She raises the, she's basically the ch the mother of the Fatui. Like she's the mother of the Fatui orphan or orphans. So I wonder who's watching them if she's here. And if she dies, I wonder what's going to happen to that place. That's an even bigger question. I would love to know her story as well if she actually comes from Fontaine, right? Dottore went to his homeland to settle the score there. So I wonder if she's actually from Fontaine and if she's got beef here and what that would look like, like in the long term, right? She's over here like judging them, judging their court performances as if like, you know, it's like, oh, who are you to judge? You know, is she guaranteed to die? I'm not, no, I'm just saying like, that's a possibility. Child's interning at the orphanage. <laughs> hey, he's good with kids. So maybe, you know, maybe. Child's getting, yo, ch that means we're getting a child rerun banner. What is it? The fifth child rerun banner? The fourth child rerun banner? I've, I've lost count at this point. This might be, uh, this might be like an Android or something. Like I said, this might have to do with the Institute, maybe. This is not like, they have like these energy grids on their arm here, on their forearm. And it just seems like, what did they say too? Hold on. They said my, my mission, Detroit become human. <laughs> <laughs> Fontaine become human. The original sin is the fairest. Everyone sinks. Make yeah. the most of the final feast. Because for the sinners, the curtain call has come. I actually think this might be the Institute. You want to know why? Because the Institute took research of Conria technology back to Fontaine with them. And so they could be seen as sinners in the eyes of Celestia for doing that. And if this guy is from the Institute, then he might be the person that they talked about in that research during the Kavarna of Good and Evil quest. So yeah, uh, that's the only thing I can think of that this is somebody of the Institute. We just don't know who. They're blonde haired. They have a bodysuit. They're falling into the depths of the ocean or like a water body of water. And they're being called a sinner. And that uh, they're like, enjoy your final feast while you can, because uh, <laughs> the curtain call has come. So I don't know who the, I don't know who this character is, but I'm sure they're going to be somewhat pivotal to the quest line. My guess is, again, they're related to the Institute somehow, but we have to wait and see. So you say, but what if it's a misdirect? I mean, my word isn't like, um, this is just speculation. The, the trailer's been out for not even two hours. So, you know, just because I say something doesn't mean it's, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. I'm just spitballing what I think it could be based on the limited knowledge I know about Fontaine. This is just speculation. Okay, Ghost Rider. Yo, if that actually turns out to be Jacob from the Institute, I'm gonna lose my shit, right? We have to meet Renee from the Institute as well. We got to meet her as well at some point. But yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But uh, this was a phenomenal, fantastic, incredibly entertaining trailer for for the for the hype for the buildup of Fontaine, which is going to be in roughly six weeks. Actually, six weeks from now, we're going to be on the cusp of it. I will be in Canada. I'm also going to be taking a week off of the Archon quest like I did in Fontaine. I'm sorry, like I did in Sumeru, like I did in Inazuma for my community. So that way you guys can get ahead. So that way you guys can eventually watch my content whenever I do stream it. And and, um, you know, that's been kind of going well for me and my community at the time. I'm so excited to swim underwater. I'm so excited for the Archon quest. I'm excited to learn uh, more about the lock folk and about like everything, the, the, cri the energy crisis. I'm excited for the daydreamer society. I'm excited for potential Celestia business happening over the course of the 4.0 series. I'm excited to see what happens with the sibling and the Hydra Archon and the Gnosis and everything else in between. If Arle if Arlequino is going to be playable, all that jazz, but, uh, that's where I'm going to leave my thoughts, my theories my speculations my hype my excitement uh let me know what you guys think about the trailer my reactions everything else in between in the comment section down below thank you to the like 1300 of you that were here live for this on twitch we got a ton of new followers as well so i really really appreciate all of you guys who have been watching and supporting and enjoying my content and if you guys are new check out the youtube channel murder of birds impact i will be streaming uh consistently throughout 4.0 and even leading up to that but this was great this was awesome i have to figure out who i'm going to be picking and choosing for uh for character pulls moving forward but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but that's going to do it for me thank you guys so much for watching and uh, i think i'm going to go to bed because it's almost two in the morning